What's up everybody? How are you doing today? My name is Kef and today I'm going to show you how to fold a four leaf clover. This is what I do for my members. I fold a four leaf clover, put it inside the fortune shrine and give them luck forever and ever and ever. Somebody asked in the comments, hey Kef, can you show us how to fold a four leaf clover? And so I decided Yes, I will do that. And if anyone has any requests for videos, it doesn't even have to be just scratcher stuff or gaming stuff. It doesn't matter. Ask me in the comments and I'll make a video of it. All right, you guys ready to learn how to fold a four leaf clover out of a hundred dollar bill that you have to rip and you'll never be able to use again? Okay, no, this is a fake hundred dollar bill. Not to mistake in it for a counterfeit hundred dollar bill. This is a fake hundred dollar bill. I'm gonna fold it out of this. Shall we begin? Here are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need two squares, two square sheet of paper. So we're gonna make the two square sheets out of this, this side and this side. So if you're unsure of how to do that, fold the corner over. You want this corner to line up and this to be flat like that. And then you crease it. There you go. And you flip it over and you fold it over like this. And you're gonna line up the bottom with the edge and make sure this lines up too. You just kind of push this side so you can see it's lined up. So you're gonna crease this side and I'm gonna flip it over and crease it again. And then we've got our square here, so I'm gonna rip it. You could cut it, you can cut it, you can use scissors. It's probably cleaner, this is rougher, but at least I get a straight line. So this is square number one. We're gonna do the same to the other side. All right, there you go. We've got our two square pieces of paper and we've got the center piece for the stem. And this is optional. You don't have to make the stem. You could just do the four leaf clover part. All right, both sides are gonna be identical. So I'm gonna take one sheet and we'll focus on this. So we got our square. You're gonna fold it over in half. Make sure it lines up. Okay, we're gonna crease it. Okay, and then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna fold it in half this way. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm gonna crease it. Okay, now that we folded it in half both ways, we're gonna now pull one end to that middle line and we're gonna do that four times all around. We're gonna do that. Okay, and you're gonna crease it and open it back up. You're gonna turn it. Fold this side up to the center. Okay, and you're gonna crease it. And open it up, and then you're gonna turn it again. Fold it up to the center. And then you turn it again, fold up to center for the last time. All right, boom, 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 four times. Okay, open it back up. Now you have those folds. Now you're gonna fold the sides over. Not the bottom and top, we're gonna to pull the left and right in. Okay, so we've got this. We're gonna make a triangle from the corners. We're gonna pull the corners in and we're gonna fold it over like that. And you're gonna crease it and you're gonna do the same thing on the left side here. And try to line it up so the tops are lined up but just make it as close as you can. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then the left side. And that side looks a little better. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it back over. So open these up like this. Okay, then you're gonna open this fold open. Now you're gonna push this in, press this up. So you're gonna get that. Hold on, I'm gonna show you four times. Okay, so you, you open this, and the bottom is done, and make sure you, you crease it so it kinda of stays. And you're basically gonna push in this, this part right here, this part down, and then push up with your thumb, like that. And then the same with the other side. We're gonna open it, push down right here, 
push up with your thumb and then close it, flip it over, open, push down, push up with your thumb and like that. So you can see it makes these little triangles stick up like this. Okay. Now you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna fold this big triangle down. So you have the little triangle sticking out now. And then same with the bottom side, flip it over. Okay. So now I put it down and I kind of push it, get all the creases flattened. Okay. So now we've got this. So we're gonna flip it around. Okay. And we're gonna fold this edge to the center line. Okay, and then crease it, flip it over, same thing on the other side, fold the edge to the center. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna hold it up. This is what it should look like now. Okay, so now we're gonna pull the sides th that we just folded over. You're gonna pull it open, and as you pull it open, you're gonna see this naturally wants to come up, which is, which is good. So you let it come up and you're gonna hold that inside of there. And so now you're gonna fold these down and make that line up top line up with the center on the inside. So like this, and then you're just gonna just press it down. So you're gonna make these little flaps. So I turn it around, same thing on bottom, like that. And all you have to do is make sure that center line lines up with that. So you'll see it lines up and then you're gonna close it, you're gonna hold it like this, and you're gonna close this. So you folded them over, and now it's gonna make this kind of shape, okay? Just flatten them. And then, same with the other side. Open it, you see this pops open, so you hold it there, and then you push this down, and just make sure that center line lines up, and just push it down. And it should be pretty well lined up with this, so it's gonna go like this, okay? Flip it over, same thing. Press it down, and you're gonna fold this down. Okay, we are almost done with half of it. But don't worry, the other half is the same thing. So now we have this shape, okay? So now we're gonna, last part for this is we're gonna fold the edge here. We're gonna fold it a quarter of the way now. So you see, you see this line. We're gonna fold this edge into there. If you start with a bigger sheet of paper, it'll be easier. So there we go. So now we have pretty much two hearts. And this is two of the leaves of the clover. So now we have half of it done. And we're gonna take the other square. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna speed up this part. Just go back in the video and look at the folding I did with the first part in slow motion if you need some help. I'll do this uh, sped up a little bit, all right. All right, done with the other side. So now we're gonna take these two pieces and you're gonna interlock them. Just take one, that'll be the bottom. You take the other one and you slide it in. And then you put the other one on top. There you go. Now you've got your clover, okay? So if you wanna put the stem in, I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna leave that there. Grab that other small piece of paper and we're gonna fold this. And I fold it into thirds just because of the way I attach this. So what I do is I use a paper clip and maybe I should have mentioned that in the beginning. It's optional anyway, so you don't need it. You don't even have to do the stem. I think it looks cool this way, but um, I put the stem in, that's just how I do it. And so you take a paper clip and you guys know me, I love gold. So people are always gifting me gold things and someone gave me gold paper clips. So I've got these gold paper clips and what I'm gonna do is First, I attach it to the clover. So if you flip it over, 
you can attach it and you stick it underneath right here, right under this flap, but over this. See, so if you stick it in there, it goes up. It's gonna end up looking like that. And then you have your stem and you're gonna open up the little hole in there. Open it up like that, okay? And then you're gonna turn the paper clip, stick this inside the stem so it stays like that. And you kind of need to adjust it because it will fight you. It'll try to go this way. So just try to keep it in the center. So once you got the stem on, there it is. There is the four leaf clover. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to actually sign this one. Skylar is our latest tier three member. Thank you very much, Skylar, for your support. I'm gonna sign your name on this. And since you're tier three, you get another one. Just let me know whose names you wanna sign on that one. And I will sign it and put it into the fortune box. All right, Skylar, there it is. There's your clover. We're gonna put it into the box. Got our box here. I'm gonna put you in there, Skylar. And please let me know what you want me to put on the other clover. I will put that in there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. And if you guys have any other ideas for videos, please let me know. If you guys have any tips on how I can improve this clover, let me know in the comment section as well. And I'll see you guys on the next video on the Kef Empire. Bye-bye.